Hey guys, it's Wednesday again. Uh, man, this past week has just gone by so damn fast. Um, trying to keep my mind off of things because uh, today's the anniversary of my uncle's death. So I'm trying to stay on the bright side. But this week I wanted to show you guys some cool stuff I've bought recently or within the past couple months at thrift stores or estate sales and those things of the like. But... The first two things I got at Half Price Books a couple weeks ago, and the very first one Allie is going to be so happy for, because I I got Looking for Alaska. I'm going to be honest, I haven't read it yet, and I decided you keep talking about your book night, and I I just needed to get my ass in gear and buy a copy, so... I'm going to read that as soon as I get some free time. And another book I got was Auschwitz. Um, it's um, a doctor's eyewitness account, Dr. Miklos Naisli. I'm not sure how to say it. But um, I know sometimes um, Holocaust stuff is kind of morbid and like... A horrifying experience to recall but I really like reading history books especially dur during the time around World War II. Those are some of my favorites and the Civil War. And a book that I got at an estate sale a couple months back. This was printed in 1972. It is Playboy's complete book of party jokes. Now, I don't know anybody else is going to have this book or <laughs> have these kind of books. You know, you always hear people have the jokes about, oh, Playboy's good for articles. Well, I guess I have a book full of, full of jokes from Playboy, so that's pretty cool. Another thing I got was just this little figurine. It cost me, I think, like 75 cents, but it's of Eeyore, and it's it's pretty cute. And uh, I just use it as a paperweight right now. And I got this really cool stuffed giraffe. And um, I haven't decided if I'm going to give that to my cousin because she collects giraffes. But I kind of like it, so I might keep it. Um, I got another jigger because I lost mine, and this cost me a dollar. And it's stainless steel, and it's perfect, because I like to bartend at my house sometimes. I got uh, this really cool Canadian Club cowboy hat shot glass. Oh, by the way, if you guys didn't know, I collect shot glasses. I have a ton. I'll show you those in another video, because that side of my living room is kind of messy right now. And it's not well lit to, to film. Uh, I got one in Seattle while I was there for 75% off. Can never have too many locational shot glasses. I always like them. And I got... I found one from Cheers in Boston. Couldn't pass that up. I like... That's why I love thrift stores and antique stores and garage sales for shot glasses because you're going to find ones that people don't have or people going on vacation that have had the selection to choose from. You're not going to have the same ones that they do. And I got one that's Viva Mexico. A lot of the, in the Skagit Valley, a lot of people call it Little Mexico because there is um, a large population of Hispanics in our community. So they like to say we live in Little Mexico, but I just like it because Look, it's freaking little son with a mustache and a sombrero. Like, how can you not smile at that? So that's pretty cool. And I found a little glass for the Washington Huskies. And I really like vintage Husky stuff because it's getting harder and harder to find. And when older people donate it or they have estate sales or they die and their families donate it, it's great. Um... Whenever I own a house one day, I'd like to have, like, my bar or my game room have, like, all sorts of, like, old sports memorabilia. 
and husky stuff and it'd be really cool when they were demolishing some stuff I wish I had the spare money or the spare room to buy some stadium seats because they're remodeling our stadium but I couldn't afford those but they are they were dark purple and they were really cool but so I got that glass um even though it was made by Hallmark I saw this at Goodwill and I bought it because it's a little lunch tin of the Jetsons and that's that's fucking cool um I got this really cool mug for New Orleans on the other side um I have a corner of my apartment that's pretty much New Orleans related stuff and um it's like my homesick corner I guess well I got some other stuff but this video's running way over um I plead that I don't get a punishment for going over this week since we've had so many people that haven't been posting or have been posting 20 second videos that I'm just making up for their time on the internet. I just wanted to give you guys something to watch this week. So I hope all's well with y'all and I'll see you next week strangers. Bye.